All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you my Cowboys and uh, Indian story. Uh, years ago, I was, uh, I was working away. It was probably like about 2004, and I was working with this gal, this real cute, sexy, uh, blonde gal. I, to hell, I can't remember her name. This was, you know, what, 10, 11 years ago. She was really cute and really friendly. And, uh, you know, things got weird. You know, I was married at the time and things were going, you know, really good in my marriage and I don't want to screw that up. All of a sudden I'm working one night and this chick, maybe he was Lisa or something, she started paging me back to her little area for like stupid stuff on the intercom. She started paging me back for like little miscellaneous tasks. And this is happening like, four or five times for probably like a good solid week. <clears throat> Call me like four or five times a night. And I really couldn't put two and two together. <clears throat> and then uh, one night I go back there and I'm helping her out with something and she says to me, she goes, hey Vince, do you wanna play uh, Cowboys and Indians with me? And I say, Cowboys and Indians, what's the rules? Not knowing what the hell she's talking about. And she looks at me and she goes, there are no rules. And I'm like, what the fuck? And <laughs> I, it, <laughs> so then she goes in the next day and she actually goes to whatever store she went to and she actually bought me a bag of cowboys and Indians, little plastic figures. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking, this is just getting out of control. I mean, I was married, you know, she was married. So I'm trying to find the backstory. I'm gonna check and find out what the fuck is she wanting to get in my pants so bad for. It turns out, that this girl had her husband uh, cheat on her so she was looking for a guy to get revenge on her husband with and uh, it was a crazy situation so I seen her the next day at work and she's sitting in her car you know she pull I'm, I'm walking in she pulls up and uh, she looks right at me out of her car and she looks at me and she says uh, hey you want to get in and she's straight opens up her legs right there in the car in broad daylight and invites me in her car straight opens her legs up has a little skirt on and opens right up I mean this was insane the 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 fact that I could have been associated with uh, revenge um, for you know her husband cheating on her I mean this girl was dirty uh, scandalous and you know the word got around the store that you know, she was trying to get in my pants and stuff. And so all the guys were all teasing me about cowboys and Indians. But I'll never forget her actually giving me a bag of cowboys and Indians and telling me that there was no rules. This was one of the craziest, uh, most psychotic uh, incidents that I had ever been involved with. I was just trying to work and do my job. And then you got some hoe inviting you in her car, opening her legs up, man, you're married. You know, it was... Uh, you know, the Cowboys and Indians story. I always remember that girl for being a dirty little slut. Um, I don't know whatever came of her and her husband or whatever, but man, Cowboys and Indians, baby. Well, I know Levante's going to be crying on Twitter about this one, so <laughs> wow. Anybody want to play Cowboys and Indians? Holy shit. Gemini, I'm out.